Hey everyone, I'm Balk. Welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, to continue on from our Resident Evil setup, I've created this lovely little corridor to kind of better show off how the camera angles work. I've also set up this VHS style um, process volume. Um, so if I click play, we now have what looks like CCTV cameras now in our scenes. Um, and it just looks way more effective. So I thought I'd show how to do this. Um, this kind of horror VHS style, which I think looks really, really cool, really, really effective. It reminds me very much of the Rockstar horror game they made. I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, really, really simple to set up. Um, I'm not gonna actually create everything as such. I'm just gonna kind of show it off. Now I've put everything into material instances so I can um, change the settings to how I want them to change. So uh, don't forget to do that and then change these figures in the final product. Uh, so I start off with the color map and this is a really simple setup. Obviously the, the actual material itself set it to post process. Um, and all you need is a texture coordinate a scalar parameter, um, which I named R, G, and B. Um, add them both together. Um, create a scene texture and set them all to post-process zero. Uh, and then use a mask and then change each one to R, G, and B, which coincide with your scalar parameters. Um, put it into a make float three, X, Y, and Z. Um, and then put that into your emissive color. It's so simple to set up. Um, it literally takes all of five minutes to get this effect going. Um, and then I've created a distortion material. Now this texture, I, I literally just searched on Google for um, some normals. Uh, I'll find it now. So all I did was put in um, noise normal texture. It kind of comes up with a load of different ones. Um, and you just can pick the one that works for you really. Um, uh, something like this would be kind of cool or I, I think I went for purple noise texture this one here um, But yeah, just pick one that works for you uh, and then drag that well, obviously put it into your unreal project and uh, Use that for your texture sample. So with that plugged in as your texture sample um, We need to get starting left to right. We've got a texture coordinate. We multiplied that with a new uh, parameter which I called scale um, and then that goes into a panner and the panner is set to 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 We get a sign which is also set up to 0 0.3 and then we get a, ta a time um, Node that all plugs in together uh, Into the texture sample UV Coming off the red value of your texture sample get a multiply and create an intensity mine set to 0 0.05 but it, it, it changes inside the um, in the material instance. Add that to uh, another texture coordinate and put that into another scene texture, um, which is post-process input. Put that into the emissive color and then also set your material to post-process. With all this together, um, we come back to our scene, find our post-process box, um, set up two arrays, post-process material arrays, uh, and plug both of them in. Oh. Uh, so you've got your color mat and your distortion mat and you should have this effect but once we open up the material instances for the color mat and the distortion mat i've obviously changed the settings so what worked for me was uh the b value minus 0 0.002 and the r value at 0 0.002 so make sure b is minus and r is uh, positive. With that setup, I've got this l very light kind of effect. I mean, if I upped it ever so slightly, so if I made that 0 0.004 and this one 0 0.004, you can see it's just made that a little bit harsher. So it, it looks a little bit more distorted, but I, I actually prefer it at minus 0 0.002. I only want mine very lightly done. I don't want it to be over the top, we're not looking at like a 90s <laughs> VHS kind of um, camera system where you couldn't see anything on the screen. 
Uh, and then for the distortion material, I ended up putting the intensity down to 0 0.008 and the scale to 0 0.5. Um, and that's how I got this effect. Um, so if you've enjoyed this, I hope this has helped you kind of create that lovely kind of uh, classic Resident Evil or um, Rockstar Horror kind of effect with the cameras. Um, as I said, I'll just shot off one more time and you've, you've really got a cool feel to this. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with how this actually turned out. Um, the only other thing I probably could have done is add in the, um, um, you, you kind of get that blip in old VHS taps where it kind of, the staticky kind of volume kind of rolls down the screen. Uh, you probably could have added that in, but, um, not at the moment for me. The only other thing I probably would like to do on this is create a player HUD um, that's got like a little red record dot or something at the bottom right. Because um, I think that would just be really, really uh, like a fun little addition to this. Um, but yeah, thanks so much guys for watching. Uh, I am getting to the locomotion and the directional and the turn stuff. Uh, that's coming up next. But I just thought I wanted to do this uh, in between. So thanks so much guys for checking this out. Uh, and I'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, a little comment, and um, hit that sub button. It's free to do, and, I'll, uh, and you can also change your mind down the line. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye.